Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the disk partition utility has encountered an error and that the parameter is incorrect. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and just type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and type in CHK, DSK, space, and then enter the drive letter you're having a problem with. So whether it's A, B, C, D, or, or any letter of the alphabet, and then type a colon, space, forward slash R, exactly how you see it on my screen. The only difference in your case is C might be a different letter, but in our case, let's just say it's a C drive. Hit enter. And check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key and hit enter. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and actually restart my system. It'll likely prompt you if you want to skip the disk checking, press any key on your keyboard within so many seconds. Do not tap any keys on your keyboard. I am going to because I don't want to make the scan too long here. It could take up to an hour or two in a lot of cases, but just want to keep that in mind, guys, before you do that. You might want to just step away from the computer for a little while once that scan is running. And then hopefully once you boot back into Windows, you should be able to proceed with the disk partition utility and hopefully you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do possibly help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.